We, with priority, focused on life-saving efforts and mobilized search and rescue as well as first aid volunteers without any delay. Together, we also started relief distribution such as ready-to-eat food, water, tarpaulins, etc. are still continued. great thing that uh, Nepal Red Cross uh, because of its big organization and its hundreds of thousands of volunteers uh, we could manage to reach to the places uh, but anyway the magnitude of the service is too big uh, that's why Nepal Red Cross uh, has been trying to reach as many as possible uh, we cannot neglect the places we have to reach everywhere after shock was coming regularly, so people are really frightened and many of their houses has been collapsed. We also met the people who have lost their uh, loved ones, so they were in, in the extreme grief. Psychosocial support is very in need, so yeah, for now I'll be facilitating uh, the trainings for the volunteers of our psychosocial support. I'm teaching how to fix the tarpaulins with the bamboos and timbers. They will inform all the people who take our shelter kits and give them to the orientation of the one or two hours about to the, how to use this thing. <laughs> In this time, they are just giving priority to the food, yeah, uh, food and other basic needs, but they do not care about hand washing, using up toilet. So the main focus we have to give them is about hand washing because it is the main source from where we will be, uh, we will be suffering from different kinds of diseases. From partners, we expect to let us work together. The total picture is in front of them. We all plan together, think together. That is the main expectation. But anyway, the partners are very much responsive. They are coming up with open mind. And our expectation is maximum support and the clear-cut definition of uh, what they are going to do that. Instead of asking for something, we plan together. I particularly wholeheartedly thank the entire Red Cross and Red Crescent movement for their support.